Hello everyone, long time no see, this is Only Abidong and today I'm going to be showing you all the new features introduced in the latest free base game update for The Sims 4 that was released on 5th of December 2023. Oh yeah, and I also want to apologize to all of you for not uploading videos for several months now because I'm still in math school but recently I just had my final final exam around 2 weeks ago and I just moved back to my home so now I finally have time to make some videos again. So without further ado, here are all of the free new features in this update. Let's start from Create a Sim Editions. There's a new full body outfit for Feminine Sims added in this update. Here are all of its swatches. This outfit can also be worn by Sims with masculine body type, but you need to remove the masculine category filter first. There's also this new pajama set added. Previously, this set was exclusive to console version only, specifically for those who are subscribed to EA Play. Now, the pajama set is finally added to all versions of the game. The set consists of one top wear and one bottom wear with matching swatches. Here are all the swatches for it. Additionally, this pajama set is also available for child and toddler sim as well. Here are all of its swatches. So yeah, if you're planning to have a family sleepover party, this outfit is perfect. Except for infants though, they get no love this time. There are 5 new swatches for the 4 different Shemaple kitchen appliances, including a fridge, stove, microwave, and coffee maker. The new swatches colors are grey, dark beige, green, blue, and light blue. Here are all of the new swatches. When clicking on a sink, an option to assign them into certain types of sinks are now available. You can either label it as a bathroom sink where sims will only autonomously wash hands here, usually after using the toilet but not wash dishes, a kitchen sink where it's the opposite so sims only wash dishes there autonomously, or all where sims can autonomously do both things there. This finally fixes the long time issue in the game where sims will always pick the nearest sink to wash dishes even though it's in a bathroom for example. So you can fix that issue for now, or delve further into chaos like what I did here. If you visit someone's home and click on their front door, the option to switch control to that particular household will appear. So now you can start a rotational playstyle option on other lots or units without going to manage world. There will be a prompt to save first before switching household. You can do it immediately to your neighbors if you live in an apartment since you can click on their front door directly. The indoor footwear rules feature has now become base game compatible. Previously, you needed to own the Snowy Escape expansion pack first in order to have this feature in the game. Now you don't need to have that pack anymore as it's been changed into a base game feature, but like before though, you still need to use either of these base game shoe racks in order to set the option. There are three rules you can set. Allow shoes indoors, remove shoes indoors, and wear slippers indoors. If the latter two option is set, your sim will either remove their footwear or change into slippers when going inside the building. They will change back to their original footwear once they're outside. This rule applies to all ages from toddlers to elders. Not for infants though, for obvious reasons. This change is not written in the patch note, but this update also includes the ability to change and place windows on your apartment exteriors both in San Mai Shuno from City Living Expansion Pack and the apartment in Evergreen Harbor from Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. Besides windows, you can also place down wall decors, lamps, sculptures, and basically almost anything that can stick onto walls. You still cannot edit the wall patterns though. This particular apartment in Evergreen Harbor is a bit different though. You can only edit the sides of your unit, not at the front. Additionally, for some reason, you can now edit the entire empty shell downstairs and add objects, doors, stairs, and such. You can also remove the walls there, but you cannot place brand new walls again once destroyed, so keep an eye out for that. Sims can even access the lower empty area if you put doors or stairs there. And after further testing, turns out that you can also access these empty attics on top of some apartment units in San Shuno by placing a stair or a ladder and place objects there as well. You can even edit the floor patterns, but like before, adding walls is out of the question. It's pretty strange, but interesting addition nonetheless, though I'm not sure whether this will be changed in the future updates or not. The business management UI on the bottom right corner of the screen has been revamped a bit, probably because the property rental stuff from the upcoming for rent expansion pack. It's now much more categorized, so you can easily open up each of them by clicking on the icons on top rather than clicking from a drop down menu like before. This radiator introduced in Vampire's Game Pack is now functional. You can now turn it on and warm yourself with it. If you have seasons, you can even use it to increase your body temperature and avoid freezing to death. You can also sync it to your thermostat if you have any. 
for some reason, this update also includes the ability for you to make a glass of hot water by using the microwave. Yeah, you heard that right. This is also the first time I heard that it's possible thing to do. Damn it, Emily, you disappoint me again. Anyway, don't expect Sims with the foodie tray to enjoy a sip of it though. If you have seasons, you can also drink this to warm yourself up. This update also adds in a lot of bug fixes and small changes. These fixes include Sims who finish their drinks while also eating will now make sure to finish their meal afterward. Child Sims with a genius trait will no longer gain the one to solve hard problems since that interaction can only be done by teen Sims and older. Sims with fear of fire will now be less likely to start a fire when cooking. Previously, it's almost unavoidable. Sims will no longer be given the option to cook together on broken stoves. Household members should no longer randomly be labeled as neighbors and become unable to use doors. Towels hung on the wall are no longer translucent when hit with natural light. Previously, certain columns didn't fade away when the camera is approaching them in live mode, and this has been fixed. Sims will no longer be constantly using their phones at every hour of the day and at inappropriate places. Guests who decide to shave in your Sims bathroom will no longer cause the game to freeze. Sims should now actually be able to finish writing their songs. Child Sims will now only have age-appropriate thought bubbles. Certain table lamps will no longer snap to the wall when placed and will be comfortable standing wherever you place them. Infants who age up in a dirty diaper will no longer produce thin clouds even as they grow up to child. Sims will no longer slip and fall in mud puddles while holding an infant. Generated randomized Sims has been adjusted so their body hair frequency becomes slightly less excessive. Some toddlers and infant hair looked a bit broken when wearing a hat. This has been fixed. Previously, Sims living in a lot with a private dwelling lot trade won't receive any pizza when ordering one. This has been fixed. Basement stairs should now play nicely with terrain when the lot has a raised foundation. Changing foundation height should no longer stop windows from being placed on curved walls. Sims will no longer constantly ask what happened for no apparent reason during conversations. Visitors who invite themselves to your home should now knock first instead of barging in immediately. Building glass roofs over basements should no longer hide basement walls when viewed from above. Sims will be less likely to brew and drink coffee autonomously now. Parents with graying hair swatches are now more likely to have children that match their base hair color rather than the unexpected red or blonde hair. When loading back into save and entering managed worlds, there's no longer a chance that occupied lots appear empty. There's this one change that wasn't mentioned in the patch note where if you build a stair with railing sticking to a wall partially, the entire railing on the side that sticks to the wall disappear. This has been changed now so it doesn't appear anymore, but the railing will still clip into the wall instead of disappearing. In the console version, hitting the undo button on the controller no longer pulls up the search bar in build mode. The nails from poolside splash kit is now tagged for both masculine and feminine frame sims. Additionally, Sims should no longer grow a second pair of feet when wearing the retro bikini from this kit as well. In Laundry Day Stuff Pack, hampers can now be dragged in and out of Sims inventories in lift mode. And additionally, newborn's clothes diapers will now go into laundry hampers if changed. The standard gas oven by Blazing Ladles from Dream Home Decorator Game Pack no longer disappears when placed on lots. This sari garment from My Wedding Stories Game Pack should no longer force Sims to have red hair if worn. Werewolves will no longer autonomously check on infants during their rampage. In Season Expansion Pack, plants no longer refer to dirt piles when entering their off-seasons. They should now only become dormant and stop growing until they enter their blooming seasons. In Get Famous Expansion Pack, Sims who have chosen to quit the celebrity spotlight will no longer gain unwanted fame. In Cottage Living Expansion Pack, Sims will now retain the heroic haggler buff until after they buy the discounted items at village shops after haggling instead of losing the buff immediately as soon as the shopping menu opens. Additionally, Sims will now be able to complete the task to create a cross stitch for the Taste for Adventure errand. In High School Years Expansion Pack, it was stated that the pink swatch of the benchmark seating chair should no longer masquerading as blue in the preview, but it's still broken in my game for some reason. Additionally, teens who get more than 250 social bunny followers should now be able to complete the third level of the admired icon aspiration. In Growing Together Expansion Pack, playing other households will no longer cause Sims to forget certain achieved milestones. In the Sequoia Cottage lot in San Sequoia, there's this tree that enroached the buildable area and you can remove it since it's out of the lot. It has been repositioned now to avoid that. Sims will no longer earn the first promotion milestone when getting a new job. Toddlers should now be able to sing a song with infants without being interrupted. In Horse Ranch Expansion Pack, Sims will no longer receive double the stated number of simoleons for selling mini goats and sheep. Sims riding horses can now talk to other horses while still being mounted instead of dismounting first. 
since we will no longer be taunted by an unreachable log filled with frogs in Chestnut Ridge. Sims will now only autonomously perform cowpoke dance only if ranch music is playing, so no more cowpoke dancing while the classical concerto is on. There is also a fix for the upcoming 4M expansion pack saying that it fixed an issue where rent could go into negatives or be excessively high. Before ending this video, I'd like to recap on all the new stuff from the last 5 months of major updates since I didn't make any video about them. The update in October included these new things called discovery quests, which are like tutorial quests but you'll get rewarded if you complete it. It's pretty annoying if you've played with Sims 4 for a long time to be honest, but at least you get some rewards. You can turn this off in the settings. The second update at the end of September revamped the cooking menu UI so it has different kinds of filters, let you cook cupcakes in the oven without needing to use that ugly cupcake factory machine thingy, and let child sims use the ice cream machine from Cool Kitchen Stuff Pack. Some small kitchen appliances can now be placed in your sims inventory. The first update at the start of September includes the ability to filter kids individually in build mode and create a sim. That's it. The update in July added 3 new hairstyles themed around the indigenous people in America, new eye presets, 9 new eyebrows, 4 new eye details in the form of eye bags, many new swatches for some existing floors and wall patterns, a new Native American dish called the Three Sisters Chili, recategorization of the traits in Create the Sim, reward camera menu, free camera mode in build mode, and the ability to change your ceiling patterns in build mode. So those are all the new stuff in the December update and also a recap to the updates in the last 5 months. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope that you liked it and if you haven't, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more Sims contents like this. See you later!